I'm Sam Smith. Connor West. And I'm Al Ted. And we had uh, the Jesuits suppressed in 1814. And so uh, the banishment of the Jesuits in, the, uh, in 1773 by uh, Pope Clement XIV. And the Jesuits are very well known for uh, meddling in state affairs. And they had already uh, previously been kicked out of Spain, France, and Portugal uh, prior to uh, Clement XIV taking office. And uh, fearing that countries in Europe, more countries in Europe would leave uh, the Catholic Church, Pope Clement XIV uh, bans the Jesuits by the Dominus Ac Redemptor. And he was uh, pope from 1769 to 1774. And that was prior to the American Revolution. Uh, this is the time period in 1758 when the Jesuits were in Portugal. Uh, there was a dispute uh, with them in Portugal that began over an exchange of <coughs> South American territory known as San Sacramento. Portugal had given the colony of San Sacramento at the end of the Uruguay River in exchange for the right of, to the seven seductions of Paraguay, or reductions of Paraguay. And uh, this is Portugal right here, right off Spain. And uh, Spain is pretty much where the Jesuits are based out of that's where St. Ignatius is from. That's where like all their origins are. Uh, this is what's known as the Seven Reductions. Uh, it's some of the Jesuits' most famous missionary work. Uh, it was their attempt to give the people of San Sacramento better lives. They are known as the Guarani people. The Seven Reductions was some of the best missionary work they'd ever done. They uh, gave the people who lived in San Sacramento, the Guarani, liberty and freedom. And now that they had given it in exchange for, uh, for San Sacramento to the Portuguese, they, the Guarani people's freedom was in the hands of the Portuguese, and they were forced to move out of their land. They were pretty unhappy with the decision, and they decided to fight back. And what took place was the Guarani War. The Jesuits took a side of the Guarani, and they both fought against Portugal. They were uh, worried that the Jesuits had a spy in Portugal, so the Portuguese banished all uh, people that were linked with the Jesuits in the Portuguese court. And. Uh, Pope Benedict had ordered that the Jesuits be stripped of all Portuguese possessions in 1758. Uh, then they attempted an assassination on the king, and it was framed on the Jesuits in 1749. So at this point, everyone was pretty much fed up with them, and they were banished from Rome at the time. And uh, where did the Jesuits go? Uh, the Jesuits went to Russia and Prussia, right here and right here. Uh, where the papacy, or the uh, pope's power, is not recognized. Uh, Jesuits in Russia and Prussia. Um, the Catherine the uh, Second of Russia and Frederick the Second of Prussia were impressed by the Jesuits and their work, um, the work that they did as educators. Um, and they allowed uh, the Jesuits to publish their set of laws in their um, countries. Um, Catherine II of Russia continued her law, I mean, continued the uh, Jesuits to stay there and preach there until her death. And Prussia disbanded their, uh, the preaching of the Jesuits, but allowed them to direct their colleges that they possess, but under a different name. Um, 
Um, so what were the Jesuits doing in Russia and Prussia? The Jesuits built schools and colleges to help teach the people of Prussia and Russia. They also used these schools to help spread the Jesuits' beliefs. Um, Catherine II allowed the Jesuits to come into Russia and speak freely about their religion. Catherine II really liked the Jesuits and what they did that benefited Russia. Jesuits colleges are still around to this time. There are colleges currently in Jaroslav, uh, Vinnytsia, Bar, Brest, Peremichil, Pinsk, Kiev, Lviv, and Lutz. And that's all the colleges and towns in just Ukraine. And this picture is um, one of the Jesuit schools established during the suppression in the modern town of Lutsk, Ukraine. To the Jesuits' return. Towards the end of the war in France in 1814, um, the Jesuits were able to return. Um, the powerful rulers like Pope Clement XIV was gone, so Pope Pius VII ordered that the Jesuits were allowed to come back to the Catholic countries in Europe under the papacy. And this is just a picture of the Jesuits logo. And this is our work signage. So any questions?